Hi guys, so back with another video and in this one what I want to do is show you how to set up a new level in the virtual reality project because there's a couple of issues that you'll find once you do this and it's just something good to cover. So what we actually want to do is create a new level. I want this to be completely blank so I could either do this a couple of ways. I can right click in the content browser and create a new level or I could go to file and then create a new level up here. So I'm going to do that. But the issue with this is if we select one of these, it won't actually save in the right location. We'll have to do it. But what I'm going to do is because I know I want an empty level and it's going to be completely blank. I'm going to cancel on that. I'm going to right click in the content browser and do level. And we're just going to call this test map. Cool. So we've got it down here. We're going to double click and open it up. Save selected. Excellent. So now we've just got a black map. Nothing in it, apart from a world outline grid. That's basically it. So we're going to need a floor. I'm just going to use a cube for this one. And I'm going to set it to 0, 0, 0. And squish it down a little bit. And where's the right one? You're going to do it. Cool. There. So you see now, we've got an outline cube of a floor. But if we go into game mode, we still can't see anything. So we need a light. Cool. So I'm just going to use a directional light, which I'm going to drag into the scene. And then position it up in the air just so I know where it is. And I'm going to hit build. This is just to build the lighting, so when we add a player, we can actually see where it is. Cool. So we built the lighting. And then now what we need to do is bring our character into it. We know we've got one because it works in the demo project. So all we need to do is go to Virtual Reality Blueprints or BP and select the blueprints. And you can see here we've got everything related to our character. All we need to do here is drag in our motion controller pawn and set our auto possess player to zero. Now, if I launch in VR preview, we're actually in the scene, and if I demo my hands, we've got hands and grab, but we can't teleport. We can't go anywhere. So that's what we need to do next, is actually allow it to teleport around the level. Cool. So I'm going to back out of that. And all we need to do to do this is actually go to volumes bring in a nav mesh bounds volume. So there's the full thing here. If you want some more information on it, you can obviously click the documentation and that'll give you a readout a bit more. But basically what this allows us to do is teleport around our scene. Because that's part of the code that's built into the, the motion controller pawn that allows us to like teleport around basically. Um, so as you can see, when we're brought into the scene, nothing really happens apart from we get a box. And even if we do anything with it, nothing seems to be happening. But what we can do is either press P on the keyboard or go to show and enable navigation. So we need this to actually be able to see what we're going to do. So now you can see if the cube isn't touching the floor, it's not through the world. But if we move it down, we get the snazzy green area. That's basically where we can teleport. So what we need to do is stretch that to fit our plane. And now what will happen is if I save and I jump into the project or the level, see we've got our hands and now we can actually teleport around. So that, that's as easy as it is to just drop in and teleport just using the template ones. If I don't lose hand tracking, there it is. And that's pretty much it for this one. What I'll do... Cool. So, now we can teleport around. That's basically it for this one. If there's anything you want to know about or anything, just drop a question in the comments. I'll try and answer it. But if not, I highly recommend joining our Discord group that we set up. This way you'll probably get an answer much quicker and from more people. It just means we can discuss more stuff about it. 
but I also recommend checking out just for the work in progress content. Some awesome people from our community have already uploaded stuff to it. But yeah, if you're new here, highly recommend checking out the Discord. Um, please leave a like and subscribe. And I hope that's it for this one. Awesome. Bye.